Hi, hello everyone from B1 Engineering Placements. Already, I think everyone applied for this uh, Infinity Q 2022 batch certification exam. Today, we are going to discuss about the aptitude important questions with shortcut solutions for this Infinity Q 2022 batch exam. Now, here you see that first question. First question is here, in a five digit number, three pairs of sum is 11 each. Last digit is three times first one. Last digit is, we assume first digit is A. Last digit is three times of first one, three A. Third digit is three less than the second digit. Second digit is B, third digit is B minus three. Fourth digit is four more than the second one. B plus four. Now find the number. So what is that number? Now here observe that we check one by one here. They are uh, through these options. First A is two, uh, three A last one. Six we get this one or not to check it. Suppose B is five, the second digit. Third one is B minus three, two, get S. B plus four, five plus four values, nine, we get that one. Similarly, nine plus two, 11. This five plus six, 11. This two plus nine, 11. Three pairs we get. So option number A is the right answer. Next, good is coded as 164, then bad is uh, bad is 21. If I click coded as 260, the gem, then jump is, G, G is 7. So E Jyoti, this is the base one. E 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Whoa, whoa is 15, 15, D is 4, 30, 41. But here 164, 41, 4, there. 164. Bad. 2, 1, 4. 7, 7, 3, there. Here into four, here into three. Similarly, here U T U twenty one G seven L twelve Y twenty five twenty one seven twenty eight forty sixty five sixty five four ja two sixty. Now jump J is ten U is twenty one M is thirteen P is O P. 16, 29, 39, 40, 60, 60 into 3, first into 4, next into 3, 63, ja, 180, option number C is the right answer. Next, supposing a clock takes 7 seconds to, uh, to strike 7, how long will it take to strike 10? Seven seconds means it starts from one means it takes only six intervals. So six intervals takes seven seconds. One interval takes seven by six. So not, not like this. Seven, uh, seven intervals, six, uh, six, uh, uh, six intervals it takes. So seven takes six. One take six by seven. Okay, okay. Yeah, six take seven, one take seven by six. Now here nine, ten means nine intervals. It takes how many? That one nine into seven by six. Now three two ja three three ja seven three ja twenty one by two. That is ten point two. So six interval takes seven, one interval takes seven by six. 10 means it takes nine uh, nine intervals. So starting one, it starts from starting one. So nine interval takes nine into seven by six. That value is 10.5. Option number B is the right answer. Escalator is uh, descending at constant speed. A walks down and takes 50 steps to reach the bottom. So here that person takes one step 
one step per minute means 50 steps takes in 50 minutes, 50 n minutes. So 50 n plus here 50 n plus 50 n it takes and also here we see that 50 n and also here this person takes 50 steps equal to part. This is equal to B downs and takes 90 steps. So 90 plus A takes at the time 10 steps so 10 n. So one step per minute means A takes 50, 50 steps. Uh, that escalator takes 50 n. So 50 plus 10 n. 50 n minus 10 n means 40 n equal to 40. N equal to so n equal to one to substitute here. So 50 into 1, 50 plus 50, 100 here again. 90 plus 10 into 1, 100. So 100 is the right answer. So 100 steps appears on that escalator whenever it is not operating. Albert and Fernandez have two legs swimming race. Both start from opposite ends of the pool. On the first leg, the boys pass each other at 18 meters from the deep end of the pool. During the second leg, they pass at 10 meters from the shallow end of the pool. Both go at a constant speed, but one of them is faster. Each boy rests for four seconds at the end of the first leg. What is the length of the pool? Now here, here we see that first year, we assume that their speeds be x and y. So first person, first meet after t1 means here, x into t1 equal to d minus 18 first. This is equation one. Second one is y into t1, it comes only 18 meters. Now divide this y into t1 divided by x into t1, y by x, t1, t1 get cancelled, 18 by t minus 18. This is equation number 3. At time t2, x into t2 equal to 2 times. During the second leg, they pass 10 meters from the shallow end of the pool, but the constant speed of one of them is faster, means 2 times faster. That's why 2d minus 10. Another one is 4y into t2, 4, 4 seconds rest here. 4y into t2 equal to d plus 10. Now we divide this to t2, t2 get cancelled. y by x equal to d plus 10 by 2d minus 10. So first equation is we get y by x equal to 18 by d minus 18. Another one y by x equal to d plus 10 by 2d minus 10. So y by x over by x get comes with these two are equal. 18 by d minus 18 equal to d plus 10 by 2d minus 10. Cross multiply these two. Now d square minus d square minus 180 minus 18d plus 10d minus 8d minus 180 equal to 36d minus 180. This two are get cancelled d squared minus 44d equal to 0. d is taken as common, d minus 44 equal to 0, d equal to 44 meters. So how much uh, how much length of that pool is there means 44 meters, option number a is the right answer. Now, 16360324. This is 
4 square this is 6 square this is 10 square this is uh, uh, 16 square 18 square now 6 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus 2 power for 16 34 square 34 square value is double one five six option number a is the right answer how many ways can one arrange the word education so the relative positions of vowels and consonants remain the same so here in this education e u a i o these are arranged in five 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 positions in five fractal ways d c d c t n four positions in arranged in four factorial 120 into 24 this value is 2880 option number a is the right answer there are eight digits and five alphabets in how many ways one can uh, can you form a alphanumeric word using three digits and two alphabets 8c3 into 5c2 Totally, we arrange in five letters in five factorial ways. So five factorial. Five factorial is 120 into 10 into this value. Eight C3, eight factorial by three factorial into five factorial. Eight minus three, eight into six into seven divided by five factorial fifty cancel six. Six is get cancelled. Eight seven is fifty six. Fifty six. once again, 8 by 12 by 3 Next. In an octagon, the number of in an octagon, the number of possible diagonals are. So the number of possible diagonals of any given picture is n c2 minus n. Your octagon means 8, 8 c2 minus 8. 8 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 6 factorial. So 8 into 7 divided by 2. 2 1 ja, 2 4 ja. 4 7 ja, 28 minus 8. That value is 20. So option number A is the right answer. What is the next number of the following sequence? 7, 14, 55, 110, question mark. So 7, next value is 7 plus 7, 14, next value is 7 plus 7, this value is 14, we reverse this one, plus 41, this one is 55, and we reverse this one, this one we get 55. This one 110, 110 plus reverse that one is 0, 1, 1, so 121, option number, a is the right answer. How many numbers divisible by 4 between 1 to 100? Between 1 to 100 means the highest value divisible by 94 is 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर Five cars are to be parked in five parking slots. There are three red cars, one blue car, one green car. How many ways the car can be picked? Here, we observe that here five cars are there. In five cars, how many ways will be picked? Five cars. We arrange in five parking ways in that five lines into. Uh, three red cars we arrange in three factorial ways. So these one blue car arrange in one factorial way, green car one factorial way. Five factorial is one twenty into six into one into one. I can can be parked in five parking slots. There are three red cars, one blue car, one green car. In how many ways we are in that one? How many ways the car can be picked? Now here we see that we are in the five cars in five factorial ways divided by three factorial into. So here divide by one, three factorial into one factorial into one factorial. So so three factorial here five factorial. So among this three is red cars, one is a blue car, another one is blue car. It is repeat is same. So five factorial is one twenty by six, six one zero six two zero zero twenty ways we are arranging all that cars. Option number A is the right answer. So here five cars we are arranging five factorial ways. So in this three repeated cars is red, one repeated car is blue, one repeated car is grey. So this one is one twenty by three uh, six three factor value. That value is two twenty. Option number A is the right answer. Thanks to everyone. Please watch my videos. Today onwards, after sorry, I put videos on this NFT to. these videos are very useful for your nft2 uh, certification exam these questions this type of questions most probably will come in your exam thanks to everyone please watch my videos please subscribe my channel